In this short video we'll look at extrapolation using origin and I'll just talk quickly through three examples. The first is where we have some line here, it's a linear plot, and we want to extend that, extrapolate it to a fixed point. In other words, we want to know what is the xy value at a particular point. Uh, the second is a variation of that, but it's moving backwards. So here, for example, we have a curve plot, and we want to know, well, if that curve was to continue, at what point would it pass the y-axis? At what point would it pass x is equal to zero? And thirdly, it's a little bit more difficult. We have an extrapolation of a portion of a plot. In other words, we want to essentially say, well, if I was to work this line back, excluding these points, back to the x is equal to zero point, what would my value be? So let's have a look at each of these in turn. So this first example here where we have a plot, so I've done the usual thing that we would normally do with plots here. I've drawn my x, y values and I've um, put in the plot and I've even added a trend line here. So what we're looking for here now is some value. Uh, we want to know a particular y value at a given x value. We want to extrapolate this plot out further and predict what the value would be. Now, obviously, if we know the equation of the line, we can just stick in a value. But what we want to do here is show how this can be done for more complicated um, plots where we may not know the equation. So this is very straightforward. I'll go back to my data underpinning this plot. So I've got concentration absorbance data in this particular example. And let's say I want to work out what the concentration will be, let's say, about here. So I'm going to put in a value of 0 0.00015. So I want to know what my concentration will be at that point. And, uh, sorry, what my absorbance will be at that point. So obviously I don't know this value. So to, to work through this, we just go to analysis, mathematics, interpolate from x, interpolate y from x. In other words, we are going to tell it what the x values are, and they need to work out what the corresponding y value is. So what values will they use? Well, here are all the x values, including the one where we don't know the corresponding y value. So that's my x values that I'm going to use as a basis. The input is, well, what, what is the data we know? So that's all of the x, y data, excluding the particular point that we don't know. The method of extrapolation depends on, well here we're going to choose linear because it's a straight line plot, but if it's a curve, these will give slightly more nuanced versions of the extrapolation. But linear is usually the quickest and fastest. An extrapolate option here will obviously want to extrapolate out, um, but there are other options too. And the results of the results of the interpolation new here just means it'll add the corresponding data into a new column. So if I click OK, you can see it's repeated the uh, values for the known values, but now it's adding in this new value for this particular concentration. So we can see if we were to extrapolate out to this particular concentration, this is the uh, value we'd get. And we can have a look at what that might look like in a plot. We can quickly draw a plot. Here I'll just draw a line and symbol just so we can see everything in one go. My y value is my interpolated plot. My x value is concentration. So if I press OK, we see here this set of values here was the original data set, and this new one now is the extrapolated point. So it's worth doing this plot just to check that what you're getting makes sense. So in this second case, we want to extrapolate backwards. So here I want to extrapolate a plot back to zero. And just to be different, I'm going to use a curved plot in this example. So here I have my plot. I may or may not know the underpinning equation of the line in that plot, of course, we can we can approximate that using origin, but that's for another day. So here, all I can say is I have, so here I can say I've got my data, and what I want to do is I want to know, well, if I was to continue this line backwards to zero, what would my value be? So we do the same as before, except it's just a trick. If I insert a row here, and type in the value I want to extrapolate back to. So here I'm going to go back to zero. And then again, I can go to analysis, maths, extrapolate y from x. Okay, so I know my x values. I want to extrapolate the y value from that. So here I will choose my x values. So this includes the value I don't know the corresponding y for. 
my y values, sorry, my, my input values are the plot that we know that exists, so that excludes the value where we don't know the pair. And here, method, well, this wasn't a linear curve, this was a linear plot. So we could choose linear as an approximation, but we could choose something recognizing that this is a curve. So let's choose cubic spline. Uh, extrapolate again, not and not, or not true. This, the detail of this will depend on, uh, you may need to go back and check the goodness of the fit. But for this small difference here, it's unlikely that the method you choose is going to make a, a big difference. So that's all fine. And again, having new here means it'll add a new column um, to our list. So I press OK, we get our output. And we see here as well as the, this is the model of the interpolated plot to the existing data, that's all fine. But we see now this extra data point. So I can have a look at what that looks like by going to plot. Here I'll just go to line and symbol. And now my x value, now I'm going to choose my y value, this interpolated plot. So we see what we had before was all the data points up to zero. But now, in addition, we have this new point at zero, and I'm just, just to emphasize that, I'm just going to change the scale so that it starts at zero. And we can see, so this is where we chose cubic spline. We can see that that's a pretty, that's a pretty good curve around. So this value here we're getting graphically looks, looks like it's uh, reasonable when we look at the curve. All right, so that's a very easy way of extrapolating backwards. The trick is to uh, insert the row back. So if I was to go minus five here and I wanted to do it again, here in my analysis, if I do the same thing, choosing my x values, my y values, sorry, x, y set for the data. I'm gonna keep this linear here just to see what a bad fit might look like. So I'm gonna keep this as linear, and again, it'll put it in a new column. So this is now saying 17.9. Let's have a look at the plot. So if I was to draw this xy plot, and again, now it's x and my latest one, hard to keep track of all these, so that's the latest one here. So you can see this is not a good a good fit. It's, it's, it's not curving. Okay, so that that we may look at this and go, well, it's, it's perhaps not a good representation of how that curve is going to go. We would anticipate that if this curve is going to keep curving, it would just, it would just curve back around. But what it's doing here is taking a linear relationship from the last two points. So if I was to go back to this and try that again, and I was to say, um, instead of, so let's just choose my data again. So I want to get these values, my XY data. Now I'm not going to choose linear, I'm going to choose one of the cubic ones. This just means it's going to curve. And again, I'll just leave the rest the same just to see how it looks and press OK. Now you can see it's a totally different value. OK, so this is why it's really important to check the plots. So let's have a look at what that looks like if we plot it. So now X value is always the same, but Y value now is the latest interpolated plot and press OK. And you can see, while it's still not great, but it's definitely curving around. But this is where you have to be very careful in extrapolation. Okay, you need to check the plots that you're looking at um, and make sure that they're sensible. But in reality, it's very difficult to extrapolate well beyond your data set, especially if it's nonlinear. So just, just take care with that. So in this third example, we want to extend a portion of the plot, extrapolate that back to a point, in this case, back to the, back to the zero point. So this third example, I have some data that's giving me essentially some data before a big jump. So this might be temperature data, for example, uh, and then something happens in a chemical reaction where the temperature jumps and then stabilizes. And we want to use this data to, to allow us to extrapolate back to the zero point to get a sense of what that temperature is. So we can call this temperature here. So here I've just changed the axis to uh, update this. All right, so what we want to do is really find the point at which this is beginning to level off. And after this point, probably you can see that it's starting to drop continuously. So this point here, 
uh, time 110 seconds is perhaps where we need to extrapolate back from. As soon as we start to go any further, it starts to curve down. So in our data set at 110, we're going to insert a row. I'm going to type in zero here. We're going to do the same thing, but instead of automatically adding a column here, I'm going to press Control D and that will add a new column. And we'll see why in a moment. So in analysis, I can choose maths, extrapolate, open the dialog again, choose the values that I want to extrapolate, including the point I don't know, choose the values that my data set. Now I'm just choosing the actual um, range of values that I'm interested in, not the entire data set. Here I'll choose linear because I want a linear extrapolation, but that really depends on making sure you choose the point before it starts to drop off. It's very sensitive. And here now, if I had just clicked new here, it'll add the data from row one. We want to add the data from row 11. So I'm going to choose from row 11 onwards and press OK. All right, so we can see this is extrapolating back now to about 20.7. Really, all it's doing is taking these last two points and extrapolating backwards because we chose linear. So we can have a look at that on the um, plot. We can uh, essentially add in a, a new plot. Uh, so if I click graph here, add plot to layer, line and symbol. Now I'm going to add my C column to this plot and you see what it's doing is it's extending the line. I can just modify my point colors here just to show you that uh, this is. So we see here our plot again, but now this extra point at the zero point, I just change the scale here, make that zero. This extra point has been extrapolated back. So I'm extrapolating back on my line and the spreadsheet is sticking out this value, 20.7 degrees. Okay, so that summarizes the three general ways of extrapolating to a fixed point, extrapolating to zero, and extrapolation of a portion of a plot. This obviously is all based on the extrapolate y from x approach. There are other, other approaches as well, but this is certainly a good start.